Hey, and welcome to the newly minted, newly named Pastor Jeremy and Toby's Hall of Baseball Card Nostalgia. We're going to be opening boxes, wax breaks, reviewing old sets, just looking at baseball card nostalgia from mostly the 80s. Uh, as we found out today, we got a po we, we got a box of 90 score. Mm -hmm. And uh, today we're going to be looking at, in the next couple of videos, this. Now these are called uh, vending boxes. 500 cards in these vending boxes. And uh, this episode and the next three or four are going to be uh, not brought to you by, because he's not a sponsor, but um, Sports Legends Sports Cards in uh, Fayetteville, Georgia. Uh, the guy, the owner, Steve, uh, met him uh, today. We went to a store. And Toby, what are your initial thoughts about uh, Sports Legends. I thought it was great. Thought it was great? Tell the people. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. What, yeah. what, what did he, what was there? Uh, lots of cards. Lots of cards. And not just any cards. Like boxes. Yeah. Cases uh, of, uh, of unopened boxes. Um, and he's selling some of those in the case. Um, and he had some vending boxes. Uh, and this is a, f a 500 count vending box. Tops created these. Um, for the fun of it, but uh, these were put in actual vending machines and you'd put in like a quarter and three or four or five, six cards would pop out. And these were all randomly collated and put into, um, uh, uh, they, were, they were put into the box and then sent in cases and then uh, that's, that's what they were used for. And these are still around. Uh, the thing about these are is that they can be easily searched and gone through. And so you always want to, if you're going to buy one, open one and see if it's got a distinctive pattern. Now I'm going to open this up and show you before we start breaking in this. Um, if you open it up, you can see, maybe you can see on the camera, that there is a distinctive pattern of light, dark, light, dark, light, dark, light, dark. And that indicates that this is unsearched, uh, that this is an unsearched vending now, if it were, and there are still some actual wood shavings on top to also indicate that it's unsearched. If it uh, was um, turned around or kind of uh, uh, the, the, the framing was off, uh, then you know that somebody has gone through this, put it in a box, and then tried to sell it. And usually what they do is they take out all the good cards. I'm assuming, and I did pull up a couple to make sure this wasn't just a random box of the same player, because that happens sometimes too, um, they're actually all different cards, and they all looked in great condition. This is, for you, those of you, this is a 1984 Tops. Now, we broke 1988 Tops uh, for the last couple of weeks. This is four years older than that. I was uh, six years old when this came out. And uh, so we're going to... Uh, now lead into looking at the most valuable cards and then Toby and I are going to break this box down probably in about a third of it tonight and see uh, what we get. Stay tuned. Three, two, one. All right, so here we go. This is a vending box again, tops for the fun of it. It is an educational hobby for boys and girls. Hey. What do you think about that, Toby? That can add up the home runs and make sure that they are all, you know, all adding up to the right number. <laughs> um, okay, this is a vending count by, uh, pack of 1984 tops. We're going to break about a third of this tonight. Uh, I'm going to put that up there while I go through, and we are going to highlight uh, the cards that we get in this set that are the most valuable. So we got the Don Mattingly rookie card, which is the most valuable card. Um, Cal Ripken is the second. Tony Gwynn, Nolan Ryan, Ryan Sandberg. And then some of the inserts. There's the National League active career hit leaders with Pete Rose, Rusty Staub, and Tony Perez. There's the Pete Rose card. 83 home run leaders, which I think is an iconic card, uh, if I remember right. Orioles batting and pitching leaders, the Cal Ripken all-star. Cal Ripken making three appearances, Toby. The second most valuable card, his all-star card, and he's on the Orioles batting leaders. Mike Schmidt, and then my picks are any cardinal that we come across because the, the, they're wearing the baby blue uniforms oh yeah yeah and or the white with the with the red white and blue belts so really sweet cards um and then there's some here that you can see i'm not going to go through all of them but we will highlight them if we get one of those cards uh we've got ricky henderson mike schmidt daryl strawberry i believe his name is spelled wrong there dave winfield uh and then some highlight cards uh julio franco's first card 
Um, Andy Van Slyke rookie card, Eddie Murray, George Brett, 83 batting leaders, Dave Winfield, another uh, George Brett card, um, and then uh, active career home run leader, active NL strikeout career leader, and then Red Sox batting and pitching leader. So we're going to find out if we get these cards as we go through, okay? So first, let's kind of look at the card itself. I'm just going to pull the first card out of the vending box so we can take a look at the design. Well, I'll just pull up any random card out of here and we'll look at the, the design. Well, that's probably a bad one because that's an insert card. Here we go. I don't know who it is. It is Joe Beckwith. So this is what the card looked like. I'm going to hold it like this so we don't get any glare. Okay. Uh, but Joe Beckwith, the big face of the player down at the bottom, the team name down the side, and then very cool, I thought, back of these cards. Um, with the, the, the logo here, the card number, and then some information about them. So that's what the actual card looked like. Okay, now hopefully this isn't a box full of Joe Beckwith cards, because this is common. Okay, this is not a, a card we want, so we're going to put Joe Beckwith over there. Okay, Toby, what we're going to do is I'm just going to pull from the middle. I'm going to pull about, I don't know, 30 cards or so, and uh, you're going you're gonna to go through them and... Uh, we're going to see what we got. So hold up there over, over, over here. I'll move this over here and I will keep track. So that? Bob Forsh, Cardinal card. Let's go ahead and start rolling through those. Cecilio Guante, Ed Lynch, Tim Lawler. So right now we know that we've gotten all comments. Yeah. <laughs> Scott McGregor. There's a Frank Howard manager card. Ooh, look at Steve Trout. Steve Trout style in there. Look at that. Look at those. Napoleon Dynamite glasses. We got Mario Ramirez. All right, we were having technical difficulties. We're going to use uh, iMovie to put these back together. So we have not gotten a lot of great cards, but let's go ahead and go through them. Rick Watts, Tim Stoddard, Larry McWilliams, John Henry Johnson, Luis Sanchez, Charlie Paleo. Again, folks, if you're watching this, uh, we got a lot of comments. We might have to dig through. Cesar Cedeno. Burleson. Just go ahead and uh, keep going, and I'll tell you if we get anything. Ken Landro. Scott Fletcher. Tony Phillips. Oh, a checklist. Neil Pardon? Allen, the scourge of the, the Keith Hernandez trade. Max Venable. Bob Baylor. Oh, Rod Carew. Rod Carew card there. Jeff Zahn. Okay. While not probably worth any money, it's at least Rod Carew, Hall of Famer. So Jerry Kuzman, another good good pitcher. Uh, Brian Downing, Wayne Gross, Mike Morgan, Ray Smith, Danny Darwin, Bruno, Frank Viola. That's not a bad player, but I mean it's not a valuable card. Roderick Jones. Oh, NL active. Is this on here? Is this on our NL active career victory leaders? Carlton Jenkins and Seaver. Uh, that's the strikeout leaders. Well, we'll put this one here. It's, you know, I think a lot of those insert cards are worth a lot, of, a lot more, a little more money than because they were actually Hall of Famers in there. Phil Garner, Chris Spire. Go ahead and keep going. NL strikeout leaders. Bly Levin, AL active uh, strikeout leaders. We got. Bly Levin, Sutton, and Jerry Kuzman. We'll put that one up there. Mike Scott, Dave Giesel, Von Hayes, Dan Meyer, Rich Kidman, Bob Jones. What's this? NL career stolen base. AL active, Burnt Campaneris, Dave Lopes, Omar Moreno. So it looks like we've gotten uh, nothing but career stolen base leader cards. So, let me do this one? Yep. Okay, we got Mickey Rivers, Leo Hernandez, Atlee Hamaker, Jose Cruz, Bob Gritch, Elias Sosa. Whew. That's rough. Rough to look at. We got AL Active Career Save Leaders. I guess we'll put that right there. Pedro Guerrero and Bob Welch, the Dodgers pitching and batting leaders. <gasps> there 
there's uh, that's that's uh, not one that, but that's an iconic card, Toby. Hmm. That's uh, I remember my brother David had this card. That was Dale Murphy's kind of like a local hero here in in the Georgia area. It's not on one of our valuable cards, but um, I'll take it. And this one, this one is on our list. It is right here. The Orioles batting and pitching leaders. So we did get number nine on our list. I don't know. Well, I don't want to draw a line through it. So we got number nine. We got the wrong Bob Gibson. Not the Bob Gibson that was on the Cardinals. Lynn Jones and Bob Dernier. So um, got one card on the list. Um, was that 83 runs? That was RBI leaders. Okay, so so we have we've only gotten so far just these these uh, cards like this. All right, let's break some more and see what we get, folks. Thanks for sticking with us. If you've stuck with us so far, we're gonna. Okay, we have, you see, like, these guys came before I really got into baseball. Like, I don't even know who Ralph Hoke is, but, okay. Um, Doug Bird, <laughs> Mitchell Page again, Dave Stegman, Chris Nyman, Kelly Paris. Oh, I got flipped Wait. upside down. Okay. Dwayne Murphy. Gary Yates. Don Money! <laughs> I thought that said Don Mattingly. Oh, you thought that said, well, if that said Don Mattingly, he'd be on the wrong team. Because Don yeah. Mattingly was on the Yankees, on the Brewers. Yeah, but that'd be awesome. We, we got the Don Mattingly card out of here. Because uh, I don't think we're getting anything out of here. Eric Rasmussen, Jeff Russell, Manny Sacramento. All right. Put those in the pile. And let's see what we've got here. Shane Raleigh, Glenn Smith, Jeff Zahn, George Bell. That's eh, that's a George Bell rookie card. Uh, not worth a lot of money, I don't think. But that's our first player that we have that's not a leader's card. Dave Tobik, Britt Burns. Goodness gracious. Okay, NL active career home run leaders. Do we have that one? NL active home run leaders. Schmidt, Perez, Kingman, right there. It's on our honorable mention list. Our honorable mention list. So we've gotten a card off the honorable mention list. Claude L. Washington, Jeff Jones. Fergie Jenkins. Fergie Jenkins, we'll put that one over there. 83 victory leaders. John Denny and Lamar, Hort. La Lamar Hoyt. That's not worth any. Tim Tucker Ashford, Julio Cruz, Ed Vandenberg, Jeff Burroughs. Oh, hey. Tony Gwynn. Tony Gwynn card. That's number three. three. Number three, Tony Gwynn here on our list. So we can cross off two of our top 11 cards so far. And uh, let's just keep breaking. You're up next. I think we'll just break the whole box and just okay. see what happens, considering there's not a lot of players in here. But another Bob Forsh. There's a. Matt, Bill Madlock and Rick Roden, not on our list. Mm. Another Steve Again. Trout with the awesome glasses. Padres leaders, Terry Kennedy, Dave Drabecki. Pro Marty, okay. Schmidt. AL home run leader, or NL home run, NL AL, is that, is that on here? 83 home run, they're right there. Number eight. 
number eight, Mike Schmidt and Jim Rice card. So, you got that one. Matt Lack, Reed Nichols. Oh, there's one. That's down here. That's the Red Sox. That's the first of all, Wade Boggs on there. Okay. Dennis Lamp, Tom Oswin, and that is it. And so, while I would say, look at look at our pile of commons over here. Um, here is our. Here's our. Uh, Best cards that we that we pulled. Let's, let's which is not a no, bad amount. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not unhappy with it. I mean, you know, and we didn't pay a lot of money for this. No, we didn't pay a lot. So Ryan Sandberg and Tony Gwynn. Okay, Ryan Sandberg and Tony Gwynn. Um, we got some RBI leaders. Oh, I'm not sure if those are showing up. A lot of these. Um, a lot of these are these career leaders. There's your, there's your, your hall right there. And really, we only got really these two that were worth anything that were singles. I mean, I, I like, I like the fact that that's a George Bell rookie and Fergie Jenkins. So, all right. So that was a that was a vending break of 1980, a 1984 tops. Um, break. We got, got a lot of Hall of Famers on this page, but just unfortunately not a lot of, uh, a lot of value. So, all right. Thanks a lot.